autopilots to 100 percent power. Harley Hall, the leader, was just the best leader that uh, I've ever flown with. He was an amazing individual. He had a he had one of these people that had size 18 leadership shoes. You couldn't rattle Harley. <laughs> Harley, Harley was the most consistent in every aspect of his on the ground and in the air leadership. We'll continue on track with our two remaining aircraft, switch into VHF guard frequency. Commander Hall was the type of guy, he walked in a room, you knew he was in charge. And he was very meticulous, and his uh, say was, I want six airplanes on the flight line for the air show. When I am in the aircraft, as soon as the engines are started, as the business begins, just like a state show or a rehearsal, you have rehearsed it and done it so many times that uh, you're able to withdraw yourself from this emotional involvement and enter it as a, as a professional. Consistency. He always had the same rate of pull, always the same rate of roll, always the same altitudes going over the top of the maneuver. I mean, you could count on him. Just everything was just, just the same. So you get very comfortable. That close together is very important. But that personality created the conditions whereby we were able, even average pilots as most of us were, to be able to fly above average air shows. And Harley was the reason. What I learned from Boss Hall is standards. You can achieve any standards if you put your mind to it. You set your goals high because you can achieve them if you work at them and you stay positive. Okay, let's start easing apart. Coming left for the echelon landing, easing apart. And he had a compassion and an understanding uh, and a love for not just aviation, but uh, for the people that he commanded. He was an exceptional individual. Well, we'll bring the six planes, Steve, in behind the crowd, and uh, I'll drop you and skip off. And you could see in the movie Threshold, that is Harley. Everything you see about that is Harley. And uh, magnificent man. And we were all fortunate to have ever had uh, the acquaintance and uh, the intersection of, of being part of his life.